Well, today is uh, November 11th, which is uh, Remembrance Day in Canada and I guess uh, what Veterans Day in the States. And it's a nice day today. It's a blue sky and relatively warm for the middle of November. Um, the past week has been really quite good. Uh, temperatures over 20 degrees sometimes, which is, works out to what, about 75 degrees? No, 70, 75 degrees during the day, which is quite unusual for mid-November. Anyway, I've been able to work on the boat quite a bit over the last month and uh, I think I got a fair bit done. Um, now the boat is basically all covered up. Uh, the tarps are getting ready for the winter um, and uh, most of all, all the work has been on the inside. So I'll show you what, uh, what I've managed to get get done in the last uh, four weeks or so. I guess I might as well start at the at the stern at the back end. Uh, I finished fiberglassing the uh, the rear deck area uh, so that's all done and also I've completed finished the door the windows are in and actually closes which is nice it's, I mean, it still has to be painted and still a little bit of trim on the outside. And uh, other than that, uh, also I have insulation. I put in all the insulation um, and the paneling above the hall area. Also the insulation for the ceiling. Um, now I've left uh, the bottom part open because that's where the wiring and the, the controls for the, for the outboard uh, propane lines are going to go. I've made some provision for putting in conduits for uh, running the uh, control lines and also the, the electrical lines both uh, mostly the electrical lines at this stage being uh, the AC lines from, from either from the, from the generator or the inverter or, or short power and also made some holes provision for, for propane lines. Um, the what else? Oh yes, okay. This uh, this is I've started to frame out the the, um, the bathroom area, or the head area, and I put up some panels. It's all provisional because I have to remove it all because underneath underneath this area here, I'm going to be putting a um, 200 liter, about 44 imperial gallons, 50 American gallons, a water tank. So I still have to lift up the floor, put that in, and to rough in the piping, uh, the hoses for the water that will go into the bathroom area. And then what's going to be over here, a bunch of mess, it's going to be the, the uh, galley area. The framing I've decided to, well maybe be a little bit fancy, I hope not too fancy, uh, by putting in a curved wall for this to give the illusion of a little bit more space and make the thing less boxy inside. And also, well, this will mean what, a curved door. Mm, I haven't done one of those before, so I, I don't know how that's going to work out. I hope it will. We'll see, maybe the next one, next uh, episode on this uh, tiny, tiny houseboat thing. Um, also, got another window from the RV Salvage. This is for the head. Um, this is one of the better window types hair, I think it's H-E-H-E-H-R. Um, they're a lot easier to put in, um, a little bit wider than the, the other ones. The other ones I have are these, these big ones here, those ones. Uh, uh, it's all worked out okay. Well, the other thing too, uh, front door. Uh, this is also finished, let's see. Uh, again, a little bit of trim missing, but so those doors are in. Um, you see there's still a little bit of space around the top. I have to put in some stuff there, but uh, basically done. I'll open it up again because there's not much light coming through the through the tarps that are covering the boat. Uh, okay, that's basically it. Uh, none of the floor, except for the ends, has been screwed down because I still have to lift everything up. 
and not quite sure where everything goes. Um, but I'm sure, I'm sure that'll all work itself out in the end. Uh, the insulation was very easy to put up. Um, it's basically just cut with a box cutter. Uh, it's a nice straight edge, just goes as long as it's sharp and, and pointed, it goes through very well. And then just glued on to, this, to the wood. The glue I used was, ah, what is it, the pages uh, construction for foam board. So that worked very well. Okay, um, other than that, that's about it. So the next, uh, I'm waiting for, I have to buy some uh, 1 8 mahogany underlay to go around this curved area because uh, this, what I've been using up now, is a quarter inch and that is not, uh, it's not going to be bendy enough to go around. So I'll put one layer on, uh, use contact cement put another layer on for added strength. Um, the other two sides, they're okay, they don't they don't need to bend so much, but just one area does. Um, what we're going to do, we're planning what it looks, or thinking about, is that we're going to get a composite, no, compost toilet going there, corner sink, and shower. So that's going to be that area, and then this of course being the sleeping area, Overall, about seven and a half feet in length. Enough room for me because I'm six foot three and I need to stretch out. Um, what else? Um, the uh, the water tank. Oh, the water tank is a flexible water tank. Plastimo, plastimo. Yes, it's a larger one and it'll fit in very nicely, laying across between the between the beams there and this area here. It'll fit in underneath quite nicely. Um, so that's basically it for now. Um, if the weather holds out and doesn't get too cold, I can continue working. Otherwise, I may have to give up until next spring. So that's, that's about it for now. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs>